Hello, hello friends. Amy R. here with Prairie Paper and Ink. Welcome to my face. That is now the intro. Unless somebody comes up with something better. <laughs> anywho, anywho, trying to get things filmed today. It is daylight for once. Usually I'm filming quite late in the evenings. Um, yeah. Release and review for Honey Bee Stamps Adventure Awaits. So May 2023 release. Um, as always, disclaimer with all of my release and reviews, the products are sent to me. I do not have to do release and reviews. Um, I work for Honeybee, I'm on their design team. So they send the products and then I choose what I want to do. And then I choose to do the release and reviews because they're fun. Gets my, you know, brain going as I'm like going through the products with you guys and talking about it and getting ideas and all the things. So I think that's all the disclaimers. Yeah. I'm trying to remember them when I'm like on camera now instead of, you know, you guys just seeing my hands all the time. So I need to move some things here before I switch the camera over and we will walk through this fabulous release and as always I will have links in the description box below the video. I also as of filming this video um, I have a couple videos up already using a bunch of these products so I will have links to those at the end. I'm not sure yet what direction this points when I'm editing. <laughs> at the end of the video anyway <laughs> I'll have links to those so yeah all the info always in the description box below. That applies to all my videos. When people ask like, where did you get XYZ product? I can't find this, what was this? Always expand the description box below my videos. I always link everything I list and link everything I use. I link to my blog post, my social media, all of it. It's always there on the rare occasions. I forget something, leave it in the comments and then I'll like edit and do all those fun things. And yeah, let's get into all the new products. Alrighty. Um, as always, I will leave the bling and fun things to the end. <laughs> so let's just start right off here we've got a little uh mini set this is to the wise one so you've got happy birthday another year wiser to the wise one thank you for all you do etc um there is a coordinating wafer die set with this and this one while it's technically a standalone it coordinates very very nicely with this this is the Lovely Layers Owl set. Very, very detailed. Like, oh my goodness. So a bunch of people got these. Either they got them early or they got to see them early. Because I Honeybee's taking part in the, is it the Crop and Create event that's happening. I think not until September. I forget. I'm, I'm, yeah. Anyway, I just know a lot of people were like super excited about this owl. So he looks fabulous, of course, and he will coordinate with a lot of the products in this release, of course. And then it works very nicely with this sentiment set because to the, you know, another year wiser to the wise one, you know, love it. So we've got those. And then we've got another sentiment set. This is one of the guys. So you've got your two scripty fonts for Father's Day. And then just a ton, a ton of different little phrases and, um, you know, nicknames and things like that, that are included in here, along with like, you are the best in the world, all of that. You mean so much to me. And then you've got just loads and loads of options. So the coordinating die set for this one is just the two dies to die cut the uh, scripty sentiments because everything else you can just do a nice little you know trim with your paper trimmer use a sentiment wafer die you know a little rectangle that sort of a thing so you got that 
And then we've got another sentiment set. This is the mini messages everyday set. So this is another one of those ones where it's like, this is just great to have, especially if you're kind of newer to card making, you can get a whole lot of sentiments in one set, like a whole lot and just a variety. Cause you've got thank you, thinking of you, missing you, hello beautiful, hi friend, hey bestie, on your graduation, birthday, wedding, congrats, wanted to say hello to the new couple, Mr. and Mrs. praying for you, sending paper hugs your way, like good variety, love, love. So there's that and then this is another like kind of must have. So I just keep these of course stored together. Although I might actually get a second one of these one to keep with this specific set but then one to just use with because this will fit so many other small sentiments but this is the mini messages banners die set so these of course will fit all of these so this is another like little must-have set in my opinion because yeah you can cut little little banners for all these different size sentiments but i just yeah and like but the sentiment strips that I like to use, like the Simon Says Stamp ones, these will come in really handy. Yeah. Yeah. Probably going to get another a second set of these. <laughs> so we got that. And then we've got this one, which I've already used in a video. This is the Be Still set. This is another nice variety. You've got the mix of fonts, which I love. And you've got, you know, birthday, retirement, thinking of you, get well soon, etc, etc. And then some like phrases, coordinating wafer die set that will die cut all of the sentiments. So just another like really good one to have. I used those ones on, again, I'll have a link to these, but that's what I used on these cards. And I used them on the inside as well. So just a good set. Then we've got a basic set. This is the Sweet Stacks Ovals. Yeah, I will have to um, break out of my, it's not necessarily a phobia of ovals. I've talked about this before though. <laughs> I don't know what it is. The oval, I have a really hard time lining up an oval on a card front. <laughs> I just, I don't know what it, I, to me it always, I was like, is it crooked? It looks crooked. Like, but I like the oval shape, you know? It just, it's nice. So you get a bunch of wafer dies in that set. So we got that one. And then this one. Oh, I was excited for this one. This is the Lovely Layers Trees die set. Fabulous. Fabulous. Like, love. I love that there's like the like kind of branchy trunk as well. So you can really, you know, have a few of those interspersed in there. You've got the different sizes. The detail that it presses into the cardstock is just mm, love. Love. So we've got that one. And then we've got two other like tree products. We have the fabulous uh, Into the Woods 3D embossing folder. Just again, detail the detail it's so gorgeous and then we've got the tall pines layering stencils and this is a set of four so you can get all the different colors and do an entire background with these and I'm just like yes yes love so got that and then of course this will go nicely with the trees and the scenery we now have the summer cabin wafer die set so you can build little cabins and do your scene and like totally Bob Ross it up, which there's a couple other products in this release that I'm like, you know, if, you, if you're not going to take up scenery painting, there's ways around it. So anyway, this is super, super cute. I just, I love it. I love it. So with that one, and then this fun one, this is the uh, shield layering frames. So you got all these really fun shapes to create, you know, layers and frames for whatever elements you want to add. And again, like so much detail gets impressed into the cardstock, like lovely, it's absolutely lovely. So that one, then we've got the lovely layers slice and stump. So you've got like wood slice, 
wait for dogs. You have a stump, which this would work really nicely with the owl. He can he can sit on there, you know, standing on his on a little stump. Like how fun is that? Or you can have like wood slices and sentiments, and you know, again, it just all that detail. Like love it, love. It's so got that one. And then another wood product. This is the wood grain 3D embossing folder. So again, just detail. I love, I love texture. You know, it just gives all that extra something. So we've got that one. Then we have the fabulous Lovely Layers Water Lily, which I've already done a video. I showed you guys the card. I use that to create these fabulous lilies like you know honeybee has just been knocking it out of the park for a really long time now with the lovely layers die sets and the floral ones of course always get me so we have that one and this is the one i was these were the ones i was talking about with um you know you want to bob ross it up but you like you know you're like me and you can't paint <laughs> to save your life and don't want to i just don't want to get into like scenery painting in that sense well you can you can fake it with this is the lakeside scene builder die set so again you could die cut and then it's all impressed you know this it just die cuts like the the top portion so you can line that up and then you can paint it if you want it's all there just follow follow the lines you know and you can add a little little canoe little paddle like how cute is that and then there is the sky, well, no, it's a sky in the This is the at the lake layering stencil set. This is a six piece stencil set. This does line up with um, this die set. So you can use all of these together. So you could do the die cutting with this like die cut and it'll impress you know all that texture and detail and then use the stencils to add all of the details so all of the like sky background and then you know you got the mountain the trees etc etc so you can add color that way like don't even need to like paint it if you don't want to um i have a feeling these are going to be super popular especially I think the stencil set as of me filming this is currently sold out but they will restock it ASAP but yeah everything is um not only layered I need to get this like back in the packaging so I don't um so I don't wreck anything not only are they like layered but honeybee has them all um etched as well so it's like upper mountain and lake lower mountain um tall trees etc like they're labeled which is really really nice i like again i like when companies do all these things for me you know they're like this is step one two three <laughs> please you know like the more info you can give me so the less thinking i have to do i'm all here for it so anyway if you want to create really pretty scenery and then and then what you could do, you could you could create your little scene and fill it out and then you could add a little cabin, you know, build a little cabin and stick it in there. Seriously, seriously. How just fun is that, you know? So we got that. And then we have this little collection here. I kind of like trying to keep all the like products together because they just obviously work so well together so we have the dad's garage 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 I say garage anyway uh, stamp set so you've got your um, images all fabulous there's a coordinating wafer die set that will die cut all of these so we have that and then we've got the um, diamond plate stencil So you can use that to create a fun um, background. I think it's only a set of one. I got accidentally got a second one, which will come in handy just because. But yeah. Use that with, ooh, like some silver, like lunar paste or stencil paste on like some silver cardstock and create that like actual metal diamond plate look. Fun. So got that one. And then we have the take a ride stamp set which obviously will go 
perfectly with um, that stamp set. So you've got, may your life be a collection of many happy moments. You only got the re regret the rides um, we don't take in life. It's your birthday, go wild, happy retirement, etc. So you've got a whole bunch of sentiments. There is a coordinating way for die set to die cut all of the sentiments. Love it. Just got that. And then we've got the kind of like fishing and water themed ones. So first off is the uh, patina stencil. And for me, this looks like water. Like I used it on this card. And especially like on the inside, like to me, it just, oh, I really love this stencil so much. So it's sparkly. But yeah, we have the patina stencil. And then we've got the fishnet stencil. And that one I used on these cards. Again, with lunar, with lunar paste. Super shiny. Gotta love it. So we have the fishnet stencil. We have the lovely layers, lures, lures, lures. Ugh. <laughs> Say that three times fast. Lovely layers, lures die set, which again, I used on these cards. And again, with lunar paste. So I'll have a link to that video at the end of this one. So these were super fun to play with. I had a blast creating with these. So we've got that one. We've got sentiment set. This is the hooked on you sentiment set. Whole bunch of sentiments. Birthday wishes for big fishes. <laughs> Dropping you a line to say bad day fishing beats a good day working, etc. We've got thanks, retirement, graduation, you know, a good mix again. And then wafer dies that coordinate. It's got that one. And then we've got this one. This is the Fishing Legend stamp set. So you got some images and then a couple sentiments. And then there is a coordinating wafer die set that will die cut everything. And of course that goes with everything else there. Then we've got this one. This is the Lucky Lures stamp set. I really like the, the like vintage look to all of this. So you've got like kind of labels really going on here. And then you've got like Lucky Lure, Fishing Club, etc. There is a coordinating wafer die set that will die cut all of these um, pieces. And what's really fun is this coordinates with this uh, vintage gift card box die set. This is a big, a big die set. So the fun thing with this, I was like, oh, so like everything is sized. Like these are all sized to fit. You know, you can decorate the box with all of this. So you could make this little, like cute little um, fishing themed gift card box. And then you could include a gift card to uh, like an outdoor sporting goods type store, etc. I was also thinking, I was like, ooh, if you got a couple, you know, you could fit a couple of fishing lures like inside the box you know, with a little gift card, like how cute would that be? And then I have, I'm assuming down the road, there'll probably be more um, sets to coordinate. Obviously you can use whatever you want, like just make the box and then decorate it how you want. You could add flowers to it, you know, make it a little wedding theme one and include gift cards, etc. graduations, teachers, all the things. So just a really cute way to make a fun um, gift card presentation, you know? So we've got those. And then there's a couple more little die sets. We have a standalone die set. This is the Lovely Layers Rod and Reel die set. And this goes, you know, with everything else. So just cute, you know? I just think it's cute. I don't know, I just, there's something about it. And then this one is the uh, Vintage Creel die set. So you can build all of this and again, like the texture, all of that just presses texture into the die cuts. And then you build it all up. You could use this die set, have little fishies sticking out of it, you know, <laughs> like, isn't that, I just love it. I love it. So I got that. And then last, but certainly not least, I've been like waiting to actually open the pattern paper on camera um 
I've admitted this for many years. I hoard pattern paper. I can't help it. I love it. And Honeybees especially has been knocking it out of the park um, again for a while now. And I absolutely love it. So we've got two packs of pattern paper. They are six inches by eight and a half inches, which is really nice because you can use these for slimline cards, five by seven cards, you know, like I like the bigger size. So this one is the pinstripes and polka dots in outdoors colors and just pretty. Like, I like these, you know, more neutral colors, more, yes, outdoorsy sort of colors, but also just really nice. Like, ugh. Oh, love. Love. So you can't go wrong with that. And then this one, this is the Adventure Awaits papers. And you guys, literally, you know? So you could die cut this, die cut the owl, you know, and add a sentiment and it looks like you just did this beautiful watercolor background or you could just cut it. Because these are eight and a half, you can cut it and you get two A2 card fronts. So how perfect is that? Literally. Ugh. This one's one of my favorites. Like, oh, I love this. I love that. Really. Ugh. Yeah. So, how gorgeous. Again, cut it, you got two, two card fronts. And since there's two sheets of each, you can technically do four. So yeah, and then, oh. aren't these gorgeous? And these, this mimics that um, label set, the die set, the shield die set. Isn't that just, uh, love love yeah wood slices greenery these beautiful frames oh. Oh. this is why I hoard pattern paper you guys <laughs> This is why I hoard the papers because they're beautiful and I don't want to cut into them. Oh, I love them so much. Aren't they just... Oh. See what I mean? I'm going to have to get another, at least another pack of this, if not a couple, just so that I feel like I can actually use them. Oh, I love the starry background one. These are just beautiful, beautiful papers. I... Uh, Ooh, I like that one. Looks like kind of like birch bark in a sense. Just really nice. So those are the papers, which obviously, huge fan. There is bling. Um, there is the ombre pearl stickers, which I've already used a bunch of because I use them on these fishing lure cards. Lovely, just lovely. So these are really, really fun. And then there is bling that like goes with the pattern papers. So we've got the Adventure Awaits gem stickers and these are all self-adhesive. So I just show how I use my little like die pick, my my little honeybee. I just use the pointy end and I just go choop, and pull it up with the adhesive and then stick it down to my cards. This is just another must have tool. Honeybee came out with this forever ago and I keep it stored this way so I don't stab myself. It's not super, super sharp, thankfully, but I use this for these and for poking through when you've got little like die cuts stuck in the wafer die, you just, you know, and then you can use the, the little um, like spatula end to also like lift, you know, when dies are being finicky and that sort of a thing. So anyway, we've got the Adventure Weights gem stickers and then the Pacific Northwest pearl stickers and they just they go with things like so and then last but certainly not least we have more wax melts so we've got the water lily stamper this is another thing I like to hoard because I like collecting I literally do collect uh, wax seals and all of the ephemera but this is the water lily stamper I do have a playlist. There's not a whole lot. I will add to it as I break into my 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 hoard. Um, I have a playlist and I'll link to that as well of 
wax seal videos because I have done I've done a couple lives for honeybee that'll be in the playlist um just oh if you have questions about wax seals and card me I yeah I'll link to that playlist so we've got the water lily stamper we have these gorgeous I am just oh. so we have the frosted honeycomb wax melts so they're just they got just a little bit of like a sheen to them just very pretty so we have the frosted we have the precious pearls which these do this looks like mother of pearl oh love it so pretty so pretty so that's precious pearls and then we've got the adventure awaits so in colors that go with the whole collection how fun is that seriously love so that is the adventure awaits collection in a nutshell um can i switch back my camera i made it work <laughs> a lot of times this camera freezes up i know people get tired of me like complaining about tech issues but seriously unless again unless you've done filming multi-camera software live streams that sort of thing it's it's nuts sometimes. Anyway, hi again. Welcome to my face again. So that is the collection in a nutshell. Um, I think that was everything. If there was something I didn't get yet or whatever, I will have links like I always do. Um, I always put not only the links in the description box below, but if you jump over to my website and I'll have a direct link It'll be one of the first ones in the description box below. Um, if you jump over there, I have picture links of everything. So it just makes it a little easier to navigate to actually see, you know, what you're clicking on. So that will be on my website, which will be linked below. And I'll link to those um, card videos that I've already posted and the wax seal playlist. So that'll be at the end of the video and as always thank you all so very much for taking the time to watch my videos uh thumbs upping and commenting it helps a ton i know that's another thing i kind of joke about in a sense um when it comes to my robot overlords it's true though uh being a content creator my entire career is run by the robots you know, it's algorithms and click through rates and view times and analytics and just all the stuff that's not fun about having a creative job. <laughs> like really the, the worst part of it, honestly, I, I don't like analytics. It's like, I like people. Like I like to make things and, and talk to you guys and interact with you guys. I don't like the robot aspect of it all. But one thing that does help is you guys watching my videos thumbs upping, leaving comments, because it just tells the robot overlords you guys like what you see and it helps sort of push things out a little bit further and every little bit helps. So I very much appreciate it. Um, if you haven't subscribed, I would love to have you. We're slowly closing in on 100,000 YouTube subscribers. That is crazy to me. Um, yeah, I haven't discussed this because I don't you know, I don't obsess over the numbers. I just let things do what they do. Uh, but now that we're getting closer, um, I do have plans to do some massive giveaways when that time comes, because that is a massive milestone that, you know, I've been doing this for quite a few years now. And when I hit that milestone, thanks to you guys, we will celebrate in some way. So we'll just see we'll see how long it takes to get to that it could be it could be forever <laughs> but anyway uh like i said links will be below links at the end all the things you guys can check out thank you all so very much stay tuned i have a ton of videos coming and i'll see you all very soon in the next one bye